In this video, you're going to learn how to use FOMO to increase conversions on your WordPress website. And I'll show you two different methods to get started. So you've probably heard of FOMO before, and all that means is the fear of missing out. And it's pretty powerful social proof when you see other people doing things and you wonder if it's worth it. It is a simple marketing technique that creates anticipation and excitement for a product. So the first method we'll use is by using a plugin called Trust Pulse. Trust Pulse allows you to display in real time user activity notifications on a website and it gets them excited about getting it as well. So the first thing we need to do is let's head over to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new. And from the search box, we're looking for Trust Pulse plugin. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now. After you install it, you also want to make sure that you hang around to activate it. Once you install it, you'll see this page where you can get started for free, or if you already have an existing account, then you can connect that. So I'm going to click in a new window to open it up in a new window, get started for free. And with Trust Pulse, you get 500 sessions a month for free. So you want to go ahead and fill this out and then we can get started. Once you create an account, we're going to create a campaign, but let's first add a website under sites and we'll add site and give the name of your site and give the domain. You don't have to put it in the HTTPS or the www, just enter your domain name and we'll save site. And now we can go back to the dashboard and click create campaign. Now we can name this whatever we want. Only you will see that get your site from the dropdown. It should already be there and then choose your campaign type. So which one do you want to do? Recent activity, it's a live stream of the activity. So if people have purchased or they've registered, you'll see that. Or you can choose to only show the number of people taking action on your website in a given time. Most people use the recent activity and then let's click next step. And now you want to do the design of this. So you see, once you fill that out up here, you can see it down here in action. And this is what you want to label it as if you're doing like email sign up campaign then just do that if this is e-commerce and you can say purchase something the message link this is where you want to send people this is the main thing so when they click on this to see what other people are doing this is where you want to send them so like your main opt-in or your main product that you're trying to sell you can fill that up here you can choose to have a map icon or maybe a user avatar pre-made icon that you can choose from all of these down here if you don't want a map icon and then you can choose where this will pop up. So by default, it'll be on the left, but you can choose top left, top right or bottom right. We're going to keep it at bottom left. And this is how you can choose what it looks like, either rounded or sharp, depending on your theme of your site or your brand. Again, you can also choose whether you want it to be compacted or expanded and then how is it going to be animated will it just fade in when it pops up will it slide in vertically will it slide in horizontally and we'll see what that will look like and click next step okay now we need to figure out a way to how we're going to capture this activity meaning do you want this to show up when someone hits say your checkout page or your thank you page if you're doing email signups then the auto magic will be set up for that and when you do automatic magic, you need to provide them with the URL or the conditions of the specific text of the URL, or you can choose from any page. So basically if they just hit any page, you can choose that, or you can choose exact URLs right here. So for instance, on this one, we will do thank you as the path. And you'll also want to make sure that you do have that page set up. Otherwise nobody will, that, that will never hit. So you want to make sure that that's filled in. Now that we have that, we can click next step. And from here, you want to choose where you want the notifications to hit. I'm going to say any page, but if you want, you can only do it on maybe your checkout page to showcase that other people are checking out as well. Or you can do it on the sign up page to showcase other people are signing up for this. So maybe you want to do that as well. I'm going to go for a site wide campaign. So I'm going to do any page. And then from here, you want to decide how much of a delay in seconds before you show the nurse first notification. So once somebody comes to the page, how long do you want to give them before you have this little pop up? Three is the default, but you could go higher if you want. And then how long do you want this to show? And if you have more, how many will happen in between? So you just really want to 
test out which ones you think would be best for your audience. And down here, you can choose whether or not to show it on mobile, knowing that your smartphone is a little bit smaller. So this will take up a bit of space on the mobile. And then looping the notifications, that's if somebody's on your site and it's already gone through all of the notifications. Do you want it to go back through and loop it again or just stop? Okay, going through the next step. Now we're ready to save and publish. In order to publish, we just need to go to our WordPress dashboard to connect our account to our site. And let's connect our existing account because we just created the account and now we need to connect it. And now when people go to your website, that's what they'll see. A second way that you can add FOMO is by adding a FOMO countdown timer using OptiMonster. So to get started with OptiMonster, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go down to plugins, add new because we need to install the OptiMonster plugin. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install now and then go ahead and make sure you stick around to click activate. Once you're activated, you can either connect your account if you already have an OptiMonster account or go ahead and click get OptiMonster now so you can sign up for it. Once you've created an account, let's go ahead and go to our campaign dashboard and click create new campaign. With this one, we're going to do a floating bar. So it'll always be either at the top or the bottom of our website with the countdown timer. And now from here, you see on the left, there are some goals that you can choose. Let's choose time sensitive offer because it'll automatically bring in some that already have a countdown timer for us. With the time sensitive, we're going to choose the countdown. You can name it, add the website that it's going on, and we'll start building it. Great, from here, it auto automatically brings in the countdown and we can adjust right here what we want it all to say. And then you can click on the countdown timer to either make it static and that means it will stay the same amount. You can also make it dynamic. And from here you can choose the end date and time and then choose the time zone. We're going to leave it in the visitors time zone. So when it is, when it ends, it will end at the visitors four o'clock or 401 time frame. That all looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and click save changes. You can also choose when to display it by default. It'll come up after five seconds but you could also do any of these items, including exit intent, or if they scroll down a certain distance, but we'll leave it at five seconds and it will show on any page. So we're good with that. Now let's click save. Next, you want to integrate it with your email service provider. If you don't have an email service provider, then you can just choose to do monster leads and they Opta monster will keep all of the leads that you have stored locally so that when you're ready to create or have sign up with an email service provider, you will be able to do that. For the ease of this, I'm just going to leave it at Monster Leads. And then you can also integrate with your Google Analytics to see the conversions and how the form is doing. Now we're gonna click Publish so we can make it live. And we'll go ahead and click Save. And now let's head back over to our dashboard and we need to connect our account. It's asking for our API key. So we'll get that from our OptiMonster dashboard. I'll go to my account, go to API, and I'll copy my API key so I can go back, right click and enter the API key. Now I'm gonna to connect to OptiMonster. Great, once that's done, you can click on campaigns and you'll want to click refresh campaign and if you don't see them, and you see all of these came over, and now this is the one we were working on. You see it comes over as disabled by default. Let's go ahead and click live. Open it up in a new window so you can see it in action. Now you'll want to pick one or the other so that they're not messing with each other, but to just see that this is working, it looks great. And so that's a real quick and easy way to get FOMO on your WordPress website. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.